Social Impotence, an article written by Mantri Pragada Markandiyulo of Hyderabad, India. Vocal recitation by Eden Soriano Trinidad, Philippines. Article on Social Impotence. This social impotence is categorized by the inability to cope up for social interactions of any kind. This happens sometimes after the demise of a loved one and is accompanied by grief and general disinterest in person social activity. The following are the causes for disinterest. That participating in social activities, shy feeling in moving outside world, always staying at house, lack of prior relationship, lack of proper education, lack of public relations, not speaking to anybody, guilty feeling, degrading self and confining to home. Addiction to drugs, overdosage of drugs, not developing brain maturity, not participating in social and cultural events, ill feelings, not marrying in life, late marriages, staying alone in life, vexed in life failed love affairs and staying away in public, failed marriages and guilty to move outside, death of husband or wife and going in deep perversions, brain disorders, health issues, handicapped issues, mentally retarded issues, social and psychiatric aspects, and many more causes for leading to social impotence. Example, wife and husband jolly well lead family life with two or three kids. Suddenly, husband dies due to some reason. Wife feels she becomes nervous. She cannot show interest to come out in the society. She is confined to her house looking after her kids. She becomes degraded. She feels some sort of inconvenience to move in the society as like before. She feels some tension and easy. She becomes lonely. This type of feeling leads her to social impotence. Such type of impotence is quite common in men and women. But one should be stubborn in their life to move further with a string ambition to lead the life and see that children are shaped and groomed well in their growth. In another case, husband dies of heart attack suddenly. The wife, till such time, always at the house while nurturing children, never moves out of house as like her husband. Now, the problems comes up. The wife to have boldness and move in the outside world to bring the children up. It is the question of leading the life. She cannot become a social impotence. It means she should not be unfit to move outside world as like other, of course. The setbacks are there for anybody. Such setbacks are to overcome and lead a better life than before. In this case, she has to inculcate the habit of earning it reasonably qualified. As everybody knew well, the time will not stop for everybody. Days roll, months pass, years roll, people change. A small story relates to social impotence 
shattered affection is projected below as a case study story related to social impotence. Mr. Rishan, Miss Kiara, and Miss Dia were friends and professional model com film actors vying for Miss New Delhi and Mr. New Delhi contest at Goa. They took the flight from New Delhi to Goa. While making journey from Delhi flight direct to Goa, during the journey period there was a technical hitch and a problem cropped up. It was a half an hour left over journey to reach Dublin airport at Goa. The distance to cover was just two hours time to reach the Goa airport from Delhi. The flight was traveling over the sea and there was no way for any emergency landing. There was an announcement in the flight. Your attention please. The flight was confronting with a technical problem. Our engineers were trying to rectify the problem. Please close the windows and put on the curtains. Please put on the belt. Please be ready with the oxygen mask. We are putting off the lights. The flight was moving with lot of vibrations. The wings sometimes go down steeply to the left side and sometimes go down steeply on the right side. The sound was dangerous, like the thud and concrete ready mix, with lot of vibration and noise. Apart from the announcement by flight hostess and cabin crew, there was a lot of commotion, anxiety, fear, and all the passengers looked very pale and in helplessness condition. A lot of sweating was foreseen on all the passengers. Many passengers were consoling each other. Few people hugged others who sat side by side due to uncontrolled anxiety and unknown self-explanatory fear. Most of the passengers thought that something was going to happen to the flight and few passengers thought their life coming to an end. Then another announcement came from the cabin crew hostess. Dublin Airport is half an hour journey from now on. All the passengers are requested to be ready with seat belts. Our flight engineers are doing their best to rectify the technical problem. All the passengers are praying the God, the Almighty and the Lord Christ. Passengers were unaware what was happening to the flight. Every passenger was nervous. This happened around nine, night time at 4 a.m. Again, there was an announcement from the cabin crew members. Your attention please. Our flight engineers have rectified the technical defects and the flight will be straight going to Dublin Goa Airport. Though all the passengers have a sigh of relief, still with nervous, as no happiness foreseen on quite a number of passengers' face. Another announcement came from the flight cabin crew that in another half hour's time, the flight will make a landing at Dublin Goa Airport. All the passengers are requested to be ready by putting their seat belts. Mr. Rishaan, Miss Kiara, and Miss Dia were traveling in this flight. Miss Kiara, aged 25 years old, management graduate, and upcoming model and an actress was in love with Mr. Risha Ann, 28 years old, a qualified engineer and also a model turned upcoming actor. Miss Dia, 24 years old, also a management graduate, an upcoming model turned actress traveling in the flight to Goa from New Delhi for final contest to become Miss New Delhi Competition and Mr. New Delhi Competition. 
All three were sitting in a three-seat row in the flight. Miss Kiara took vodka before boarding the flight to Goa and was sleepy and lazy because of her tiresome due to midnight travel. Mr. Rishaan, though in sober condition, was happy to travel with Miss Kiara and Miss Dia. Miss Dia, too, was in a sleepy mood because of late midnight. The inner sense of Mr. Rishaan was in love with Miss Dia, as Mr. Rishaan thought that one day he would like to express his desire to marry either Miss Kiara or Miss Dia, as both were too smart, highly beautiful, and intelligent. Miss Kiara and Miss Dia got impressed the way Mr. Rishaan was moving with them. More so, Mr. Rishaan was very handsome, a well-qualified and also an upcoming model com actor. Moreover, both Miss Kiara and Miss Dia too have something in mind to express their desire to move very closely, intimately with Mr. Rishaan. All the three were sitting in the flight with ease and intimately. In the middle of the flight, Kiara walked up to go to the washroom. When she returned, she was too lazy to push her way into the middle seat. And with Rishaan readily offering to shift seats, the sitting arrangement changed. With 20 minutes still remaining for the flight to land, a sleep-starved Kiara took another power nap, this time holding Rishaan's right hand more firmly. Rishaan's other hand, though, nervously moved to touch Dia's. Her heart skipped a bit. Dia pulled her hand away, but a defiant Rishaan held her wrist again, this time firmly and more reassuringly. The changing behavioral dynamics between the three perhaps gave out a foreboding of what was to come in Goa. Mr. Rishaan took the opportunity that that time and started rubbing the hand of Miss Kiara for some time. As Miss Kiara was in very sleepy mood, and in turn, Miss Kiara too had responded slowly to the rubbing by Mr. Rishaan. Both got tempted for some time. At that time, Kiara was in her own trauma and was self enjoying herself. Simultaneously, Mr. Rishaan, with another hand, started holding the hand and wrist of Miss Dia firmly and also started rubbing both the hand and wrist as Miss Dia too started responding slowly to Mr. Risha Ann. Dia's heart beatings ran like a super fast express train and her blood pressure went up and her body totally warmed up of that particular situation. But Dia recovered from that mood fearing something will go wrong. When the flight landed at the Dublin airport, Rishaan felt uncanny. His excitement seemed replaced by an unknown fear that he found very difficult to decipher. At the Dublin airport, all the three waited in the retiring room till sunrise. After sipping coffee in the airport cafeteria, engaged a cab and proceeded to Star Hotel, which was already booked in advance. In the early morning, all three, Risha Ann, Kiara, and Dia, passing through the main roads at Goa by a cab to reach Star Hotel for birding purpose, they noticed near a bus stand one aged beggar sitting leisurely on the platform. Keeping a small money pot nearby to his side, wearing a black cooling glass, 
smoking a cigar, and reading English newspaper. The beggar did not have any shirt and was only wearing a torn banyan and a short. These three people surprised by seeing the beggar's pose of sitting style and reading look, the English newspaper. All three people thought for a while about his pleasantness, happiness, and comfortably sitting style. All these three people instantaneously discuss about the beggar's style of reading the newspaper. The beggar looks to be of no worry at all. The beggar looked like having total peace of mind and free from all the world's taxes and enjoying the tax-free life. After some time while traveling in cab to reach the Star Hotel, Risha Ann self-advocated, deeply thought and could realize about his misdeeds and wrongs and mistakes during the flight journey. But the time cannot roll back. Time will not stop. Day by day, people get older and older. One should know the objective of life goal, responsibility, and more than all, a concrete plan of action to settle down in life. Such disciplined people would be able to guide the youth and the younger generation people to the writer perspective angle. Of course, some people commit mistakes and mistakes do happen, and people who commit such mistakes can rectify any blunders. People move in the public life and people live in the society for all purposes, this education, career, business sake. Different types of people come across to each and everybody with various ideologies and with varied frame of mindset. After reaching the Star Hotel, all the three people refreshed, took breakfast, took some rest, and their lunch in their respective rooms. They dressed up well for the evening event, as per the Miss New Delhi Contest program at Goa. They returned back after the contest program to their rooms at the Star Hotel and took complete rest after enjoying some hot drinks and dinner. The next day, all the three went to the Goa beach to enjoy themselves. They played in the beach, took some snacks, cool drinks, and returned back to their hotel rooms. All the three consumed some beer, gin, vodka, spared their liking, and had dinner. During the beer table, they got the topic and the incidents of the flight journey from New Delhi to Goa. They started some altercations on few of the incidents that took place in the early morning in the flight before reaching Goa Airport, Dublin. Some tensions ran high during the discussions. Miss Kiara had expressed her ambition to continue the friendship with Risha Ann. So also Dia also expressed to have good and long friendship like movement with Risha Ann. But... Rishan was showing some extra interest on Dia when compared to Kiara because of two activeness and sharp mind. Rishan prolonged some days without deciding life partner choosing. In the meantime, there was a marriage proposal to Rishan from a top politician, Mr. Anand Sinha, who was a cabinet rank central excise minister in the union cabinet. This high-profile minister was a billionaire with few top businesses holding by his family members. This minister has one management qualified daughter by name, Miss Mona Lisa, aged 26 years, a reasonably good-looking girl, hailing from the same cast of Risha Ann. The minister Anand Sinha approached Risha Ann through his accredited family members for a marriage proposal to Miss Mona Lisa, luring Risha Ann with good business position and full financial help and property so that both live luxurious life. 
For this proposal, Risha Ann, after giving much thought for a few days, got tempted to this offer and accepted the proposal to marry Miss Mona Lisa, the only daughter to the central minister. The marriage took place in a very grand style at New Delhi, where all the government top leaders, politicians, business people, film stars, bureaucrats, relatives, friends, and well-wishers attended the marriage function and blessed this new couple, Risha Ann and Mona Lisa. Risha Ann did not convey his marriage with Mona Lisa to Kiara and Dia and left his professional colleagues to a corner. Kiara and Dia get angry on Risha Ann and wanted to teach him a lesson to Risha Ann one day or the other when time comes. After a few months, things went wrong to Central Excise Minister Anant Sina and was involved in a big international money scam and CBI was entrusted with this scam case to deal with firmly and sternly. The minister was removed from his position and was compelled to resign as minister. The minister was suspended for his illegal and anti-party and anti-government policies and activities. All the property, cash, bank accounts of Anand Sinha and his close relatives, including Risha Ants and Mona Lisa's property and assets, were seized by CBI. One should know that any CBI case will never be closed as long as the persons involved in any CBI case. In this case also, the Central Excise Minister Anand Sinha his family members, including his son-in-law, Risha Ann, and wife, Mona Lisa, were put behind the bars. Kiara and Dia came to know about this scam and Risha Ann's jail life and CBI case. Both Kiara and Dia cursed on Risha Ann. As Risha Ann was irresponsibly and carelessly behaved with them, when they were moving for a professional growth program and others from modal turned film star. The minister Anand Sinha, Risha Ann, and Mona Lisa had many cases filed on them from various departments like India Revenue, Income Tax, CBI, Enforcement Directorate, Central Excise Department, Home Department, FERA and FEMA Act, violation of FE and RBI Act, and various other acts for dealing and conducting with international terrorists and for funding for unscrupulous activities like riots, loot, rampage, damage, killing and supply of arms and ammunition illegally to various banned outfits within inter- and intra country activities. This news was appearing in the entire major newspapers regularly on daily basis and also through TV channels and radio networks. Some of the foreign countries also booked many cases on this minister Anand Sinha for violating many international laws. Risha Ann and Mona Lisa now under CBI custody and various other department scanner. The life where this young newly married couple wanted to enjoy with money and power lost every opportunity to live peacefully. Risha Ann at the four walls in jail thought deeply that had he married Dia or Kiara, wholeheartedly without getting tempted to this central excise minister's daughter, Mona Lisa, he would have well settled and lead the family life very luxuriously. One day, Kiara and Dia met Risha Ann at jail to express their solidarity and to console. Risha Ann wept 
that he made a mistake in marrying Mona Lisa, the daughter of the central minister Anand Sinha. Then Kiara and Dia decided not to trust anybody and wanted to be very careful in selecting their life partners whenever they planned to marry. Rishaan was weeping, crying inconsolably and of the moods all the time due to this high-powered shock and was helpless. Mona Lisa, the wife of Rishaan too, was very unlucky and was helpless. She repented that all this happened due to some of his father's negative deeds and some are political cases, and some are self-acquired errors. Kiara, Dia were, to some extent, were very happy for not getting involved in any way with Risha Ann and the minister's family affairs and business dealings. Kiara and Dia forgot all friendship days with Risha Ann as they thought that there was no use in memorizing old matter. Kiara and Dia worked hard to become top Indian stars in the film socio-economic business and political circles, both married to their liking and choice person and lived happily. Kiara and Dia remember Rishaan as his bad luck and blame on his fate console themselves as whom to blame whom, whom to trust whom. It's all one's fate which the God has written on the forehead which cannot be erased, and one is bound to suffer what may it come, and thought that one cannot predict the life's turn of events. Impotency Causes, Reasons, Remedies, and Treatment there are several causes, reasons, treatment, and various types of remedies available for impotence existing men and women. The reasons are aplenty. It could be due to hereditary, vitamin deficiency, could be due to white blood cells or due to nervous weakness of the early age masturbation, or due to staunch sexual desires. Let us study here various points that led to impotency in men and women of male and female. Erectile dysfunction, physical causes. In several cases, erectile dysfunction is caused by something physical. Common causes include heart disease, metabolic syndrome, increases blood pressure, high insulin levels, body fat, obesity, high cholesterol, atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries, diabetes, Parkinson's disease, multi-sclerosis, liver or kidney disease, alcoholism, Leslie's disease or penile scarring that results in curved penis. Other physical causes are certain medications, substance abuse, long-term of uh, using tobacco, trauma or injury to the spinal cord or genital region, congenital genitalia problems, treatment for prostate problems, psychological causes, emotional issues like worry, emotional distress related to economic, professional or social issues, relationship conflicts. Generally, in men ages 20 to 30 years old may experience erectile dysfunctions. For this treatment, there are six ways to naturally overcome impotence. 1. Walk 2 miles in your own shoes. 2. Move your nether regions. 3. Get needled. 4. Take some herbal Viagra. 5. Take this amino acid found in your body. And 6. Drink watermelon juice. Best diet for your penis. 1. Spinach. 
It is spinach, a green rich in appetite. Suppressing compounds can not only make you better named, but it increases blood flow below the belt. 2. Coffee 3. Bananas 4. Tomatoes 5. Nut sauce 6. Watermelon 7. Ginger 8. Pomegranate 9. Green tea 10. Dark chocolate 11. Oats 12. Lime nuts 13. Cherries 14. White 15. Salmon 16. Brazil nuts 17. Potatoes 18. Carrots 19. Pumpkin seeds and 20. Chicken breast What causes erectile dysfunction? Doctors tended to blame erectile dysfunction on psychological problems of with older men on the normal aging process. Today, the pendulum of medical opinion has swung away from both notions. While arousal takes longer as a man ages, chronic erectile dysfunction warrants medical attention. Moreover, the difficulty is often not psychological in origin. Today, urologists believe that physical factors underline the majority of cases of persistent erectile dysfunction in men over 50. Five common causes for impotence. 1. Endocrine diseases. 2. Neurological disorders. 3. Medications. 4. Cardiac-related conditions. 5. Lifestyle factors, treatment, or prevention. Erectile dysfunction or impotence is the inability to get and keep an erection firm enough for sex. Having erection trouble from time to time is not necessarily a cause for concern. If erectile dysfunction is an ongoing issue, however, it can cause stress affect your self-confidence and contribute to relationship problems. Problems getting or keeping an erection can also be a sign of an underlying health condition that needs treatment and a risk factor for heart disease. Impotence cures, shockwave therapy, Natural Remedies Girls Medication, Improving the Health for Vitamin Deficiency. Having Proteins Through veg Vegetables For many men, impotence is treatable without drugs. Play well at open grounds. To do naturopathy exercises, to do yoga practice, to do meditation, medication through doctors prescribed drugs, heading psychologists advices.